Okay, what do I have here is two branches. If I just check that, I have two branches, master and header. But I decide that the modification that I add, let's just first go to the header branch. I decide that the modification that I add into the header, which is the header.css file, and some code within the index.html, which is that HTML tag header. Let's just check that index.html. So this header that I already add within the header branch, I want to add all of that into the master because I decide this is this is a feature that I want to use. Okay, now let's just, but first I need to switch into master. Okay, now I'm within the master. Then I need to merge the header modifications into the master. But there is something that will be used when I use this command right here, when I use this merge. So there is two cases. So the first case, if there is a linear path from the current branch chip into or to the target branch. So in this case, I will have a fast forward merge. Okay, and this is what do we have. This is before merging in case of fast forward merge. And this is after a fast forward merge. But in the opposite, if we don't have this linear path from the current branch chip to the target branch, you will be forced to use the three-way merge. We don't, we don't do that manually. Merge will define that. Why, why will you use? And the, the difference between the three-way merge and the fast-forward merge is this three-way merge will use a dedicated commit to tie together the two histories. Okay, but we don't have to do that manually. So this merge right here will choose the algorithm fit to our case. And if you have, if you want to just get some details about how merge work exactly, you just go to this URL right here and you will find out too many details about all of that. Okay. Now I'll just hit enter and you'll see that I have a fast forward. And this is this case. We have a linear path. Why from the, uh, this is the current of, this is the source and this is the target. Oh, this is the current chip and this is the target. Okay, now if I just do three, you will see that I have a header.css. And if I just check the code within the index.html, you will see that I have the header code.